You ever just wanted to do something so bad that you didn't have like the facilities or you didn't think you had the facilities to do something and then you just kind of pull something out of your ass? Well, that's basically what I did today. I've been wanting to make this video for a while and it's taken a while to like figure out how I want to do it, but the time's never right. Things are always going on. I've, I had a couple hours today. I figured, you know, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this happen. So I uh, made my workbench. Now this camera might be a little too narrow for it, but basically set up a little table, put up a poster, and uh, yeah, gonna start shooting some videos here. And I'm kind of excited because I've been meaning to do this, but. Like I said, everything just always gets in the way. So, now, I use a low pro bag for all my tools for work and all my personal stuff. Um, all the hand tools for the most part, or all the drivers, they're MIP. So, there you go, MIP online. They're all really good, excellent quality, they last forever. Um, I got these cutters off of Amazon. I think they were off of Will Prowse's channel. Um, so I got like random antennas and double sided tape, drivers, glue, glue tips for 3M products. You yeah, know, good old stuff. This is that thing that I want to make a video on. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know I got into RC crawlers, I don't know, a while ago, but. I haven't really been posting anything until recently. Um, this is a Traxxas TRX-6, and it's a six-wheel drive, obviously. Um, six by six, which means a six-wheel drive. We got front and rear lockers. Right now, they are not engaged, so I can turn the motor. Um, a little bit about this on the exterior, starting out on the outside. We've got some upgrades, got a aluminum, uh, you know, a cow catcher, brush guard, whatever you want to call it. Got light covers. The first day I turtled pretty badly, destroyed one. Uh, the roof's a little, a little scratched up from some tumbles, same with the roll bar in the back. Uh, added a scale AK-47, that's a 10th scale AK-47. You know, going for those uh, scale points, clearly something realistic you know like a 6x6 with a Traxxas license plate but um, under the hood put the body away we've got a 6x6 right here and it's I mean I just cleaned it but it's fairly straightforward you've got your your upgraded aluminum bumper here zero chassis flex in the front um, we got an upgraded Savo 2290, um, 2290, oh here it is, yeah, 2290 SG, uh, Savo, this is like a $150 servo, um, I don't know what the specs are, they'll be listed below or in another video, but they're great, they, uh, it has more torque than my truck can handle, um, uh, moving back, motor we've got a um hobby wing axe system this is the what was it 3300 kv 550 can and then that comes with its paired esc um you got your three 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 abc leads and then your uh hall, hall effect sensor um and then moving back to the servos that are midboard uh, inboard we have our front locker control rear locker control now the rear locker controls both the middle and the rear together they're in they're in tandem so that's cool um, then under in this under this cover we've got the stock tracks uh, receiver which is pretty it's pretty decently it's pretty decent for the stock transmitter it does everything that this truck really needs for now until I get a servo winch, there's no reason for me to upgrade. But um, for now, it's great. Um, running Dean's plugs because we're old school. 
And then we've got the uh, 5,000 milliamp hour Gen Genzace. And so far, um, the only upgrades, I mean, oh, actually, I've, I've done a bunch of upgrades already. I mean, as a stock truck, this thing drives great. It's fun. It's light. It's, well, relatively light for how big it is. It's nimble, but um, it's a 6x6. Six six. It's just like your TRX4, just with an extra axle on the back. Um, as far as your average driver, it's going to be very similar. The, the turning circle is a little larger because you've got a little bit more wheelbase. But other than that, it's a pretty similar, pretty similar layout. Um, and it's, it drives exactly the same. The, where it really starts to separate itself is in vertical climbs. Now, it, it, when you have a 4x4, you have two, two, two uh, axes of limitation. You have, you have going uphill, and then you have side hilling. Now, this truck with the body... The body is pretty heavy, and it doesn't side hill great. So I learned that one of the things that I needed to do, which I have done, was upgrade the foams that are inside the the upgraded RC four wheel drive tires. Um, so I've got upgraded two stage foams. Um, they're they're stiff, uh, stiffer in the sidewall. On the outside, they're a bit softer, especially since they're both, it's a dual closed cell configuration. Um, we've got the SSD wheels. The front four wheels, so the, this this pair and this pair, uh, both have the wheel rings. The brass weighted rings inside the wheels, in the beadlocks. And I find that it helps because uh, the front, it makes sense, because when you come up over a, an obstacle, you want... You want the weight of the front to pull the front end down, you know. You want it to... You want the truck to start coming up over an obstacle and then the front end bring it down in order to continue going over that obstacle. Whereas if your back is too heavy, the front will come up past the top of the obstacle and then eventually it'll have to come down whereas you don't have control that way you have a lot less control so um yeah so tires rc four wheel drive the irox scale 1.9 on ssds um things that i have broken the only thing i've broken so far on this on this on this rc car is the um the pan hard bar down here in the bottom, this guy right here. So this part right here is aluminum now, but originally it was plastic and it was part of the fender. Now that wasn't a problem, except for at the time, nobody had any panhard mounts that were direct upgrades for the TRX6 and TRX4 that aren't shock hoops. So mine are shock hoop, mine's a shock hoop that has the panhard bar, it's aluminum, and I had to cut out the rest of the uh, fender here to make that work and epoxy it back on because the only two screws that hold this entire fender on were part of the uh, assembly that you have to cut to make this fit. So a little bit of modding there. Uh, we've also got the light kit. So, you know. so we've got the stock lights, which you can pretty much see on almost any other channel and then we've got oh these are not easy to plug in with one hand let me tell you all right power it on and we've got the rock lights so all the rock lights in the fenders i think the kit was like 20 bucks and you just you just pull off all these little covers and then uh, replace with the lights. And those are plugged directly into your receiver, so when you turn your ESC on, they power off that. Um, but yeah, so that was just my, these are my initial thoughts on the uh, TRX-6. Uh, I think it's a great truck. Not bad for beginners. I don't see a reason why it would be. 
um, unless you want something fast. It's a it's a really beautiful truck. It really is, especially with these aggressive tires. But yeah, just a little overview of what this truck is.